Wow, look at this lot. Now these are pretty big. Empire RV stand. Isn't that amazing? Right, let's see. Let's see if we can get a look in for you guys. Got to be worth a try. So we're in. It's by keypad though, and that's pretty cool to start with. And look at the size of this. Wow. Come on then, in we go. My word, this one will definitely give you vertigo. Wow. <laughs> that's, uh, and now we haven't been in a slide outside one before, so this is a first for us, and uh, you'll probably hear wow a fair few times, will you not? <laughs> <laughs> this is a wow a fair few times. So obviously up at the front here, we are literally about three meters off the ground, as is this Mercedes cab up at the front here, which we'll go around to as part of our wander around this incredible vehicle. So, this is one of the sides that slide out. A full on. Yeah. They have to slum it with Tesco sandwiches. You'd have thought they'd have had at least Waitrose sandwiches. But, look at that. It's literally full on. Wow. Full on everything, everywhere, space the lot. It's just the sheer size is just, wow. The sheer size is just hard to get your head around. Isn't that amazing? This is the biggest one, the biggest vehicle on the stand here at the uh, Caravan Moto Show. Because of course, we had to bring you the biggest one. Just a small 50 odd inch TV, I should think. Sound bar. Wow, <laughs> that's got a, now that, has got a few more electrics than my little mobile Vetter. And I say little, it's obviously seven and a half meters, but it would probably fit in the boot of this one in the garage, which we'll have a look at in a minute. Wow. Oh, look at that. Touch lighting. That is super cool. And then we're into the bathroom area, which is not a pull-out bit, so this is the sort of standard width from across of the vehicle. Absolutely beautiful, isn't it? Rain shower, two different shower heads. Lots of storage. God more storage than you can shake a stick at. Lovely little glass fronts on the, on the shelves. Of course, as always, you're going to have to guess in your head as to how much this is, unless you saw any of our other footage, you might have just caught sight of the price. This is obviously the next pull-out section, slide-out section, I should say. Now that is a fairly spacious bedroom. I think we would have enough room. Wow. 
ionizers, aircon unit in there. Look at that. Yeah, little storage areas. Wow. I don't think we could actually fill this van with possessions. It's got so much storage. <laughs> it's got, it's got uh, a fair bit, hasn't it? Oh my God. Slide out, power. yeah, we've got to have a sit on the bed, sit on the end of the bed. Oh wow, yeah, yeah, that is quite something. Yeah, I think that's, oh look, we haven't even looked in the wardrobes yet, look at this. Yeah, yeah, oh, like it, yeah, look, you get your own dressing gowns as well. Tesco sandwiches, but you get your own you dare, Empire see RV. Any slippers? No, what? No slippers. Any no. Slippers. I'm not buying it. I've got any slippers. Wow. Isn't it beautiful? Yeah. Is incredible, isn't it? <laughs> it is, isn't it? Yeah. I love all the touch lighting and everything. Yeah. So the other slide out pod, then you've got to go into the non slide out bit and suffer, you know how incredibly narrow it is and unspacious, not. Little sliding door here, just a little, look at that. God, that door weighs an absolute ton. Mirrored door there. Slides across, separate the bedroom and bathroom away. That really does weigh a bit as well, that door. Good grief. So that is what a pull-out sides vehicle looks from the inside. Let's go and see if we can have a quick look in the cab as well. Look at this. Of course, the bed up here comes down electronically. There you go. Just see it starting to come down there. Isn't that? Wow. That is a king size double. A king size double drop down, yeah. I'm just gonna test how comfy the sofa is because that's only very Yeah, important. let's just slide that back up again. Oh yes, give that a test. One of the one of the few sofas in here. <laughs> Yeah, oh yes, let's have a sit down, oh yeah, look at that though, it goes back for miles doesn't it? It really does. Now, as for reversing this, <laughs> or, or uh, imagine driving off without the sides in, forgetting to put one of the sides in, oh my word, yeah. Yes, you would go round and round about four times, wouldn't you, checking you had stowed everything and put everything away, but to be fair, there is a lot to put away once you're on the move. Certainly yeah. is at this in this state, yeah. I'm trying to find a dishwasher. Oh, it will be there somewhere. A dishwasher, is that? There, there we go, is. look at that. Yes, there it is. Fancy not this. finding that, yeah. Size vehicle. Well, let's see if we can have a little look at the outside. Yeah. Right, now. Yes, they have a coffee machine, but look at this. Fully enclosed in its steel case, which is part of the standard features. That's obviously not. Look at that. That is what you call an extreme washing machine. Yeah. Hose, look at that. Completely lined garage. Wow, storage spaces everywhere. You would have your little smart car probably in here, wouldn't you, as opposed to a coffee machine, I would think. Oh, look, there's a six. There you go, eh? That's the pop outs. Incredible. 
<laughs> you just couldn't you couldn't fill these lockers could you you could you could try but you probably wouldn't achieve it absolutely amazing I expect they'd even throw in the tree for free, just so when you got to site you could uh, plant your own orchard. I wouldn't put it past them. It's incredible. Here we go, look, there's a bit of the data as well. The Model STS, three pop-outs, 12 meters, good grief. And look at some of these weights. Gross vehicle weights, 29 tons. Axle weights down the bottom there. 7.15 meter wheelbase. And for immediate delivery, if you're feeling flush at the moment. How many should we have available for immediate delivery? How many? Just the one? Yeah. So these of course are STX motorhomes and the link with Empire RV um, if one of these is taking your fancy, is that Empire RV, who are based in the Bristol area, they are the sole suppliers, exclusive suppliers of, uh, of STX motorhomes. And there's just a bit more of their range. We've obviously been looking there, giving you a look around the, the biggest of them. But you can see they're all uh, pretty hefty old motors and just stunning things from the inside and there you go there's the front Sadie's Actros look at that can't get you into the cab at the moment but we saw a little bit of it from inside there but it's just massive <laughs> imagine hopping up into that eh? <laughs> wow it is quite something isn't it eh? So Empire RV are based in um, Somerset, and they are the dealer for area, yeah. yeah, and they yeah. are the dealer for this amazing vehicle, this RV, um, and uh, yeah, it's just it an amazing bit of kit, it, yeah, isn't it? Yeah. It's it's just massive, it's on a huge scale. Um, but they do also do rentals as well. Oh uh, yes, which yeah, is interesting. Yeah. I, I suspect for sporting events and yeah, um, things yeah. like that, you can hire them. Yeah, see these parts up at the F1 sites, don't you? But uh, great to have a look yeah. inside them. But anyway, keep an eye on the channel for some more from the caravan and motorhome show. Yes, and indeed, and, and then beyond the caravan and motorhome show, we hope to do some detailed walkthroughs. We've just had a glimpse at the moment, of course, of this vehicle, but um, we hope to do some more. Mm. very detailed and in-depth walkthroughs um, of these types of RV. Yeah, it'd be nice to add to the channel, wouldn't it? Yeah, yeah. 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 How the other half can afford to live. Absolutely. 600,000, small change. Yeah. Perhaps a bit more than small change, isn't it? Absolutely. <laughs> See you soon, guys.